Hi everybody, my name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Nicole. And we're the Yahoo and the Tori YouTube channel and these are Letters of Shaul. Yes, and we are making good headway and it is the day of affliction here so we're going to make the mess, most of it and we are going to read with you guys and so far we've made it through 1 Timothy, Titus, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, Romans, Galatians and now we are on 2 Timothy. How you guys doing? Good. You guys starving yet? Yep. I'm a little, a little, bit, yeah. a little hungry. Getting there? It's almost over though, so... Almost over. Well, maybe we will survive this. Something I want to point out here before we get into these books here is that these were letters to a certain group of people or a single person. As we are in the book of Timothy now, um, this is for a single person. This is for Timothy, and these this books always don't apply to us, especially the letters of Paul. These ones do not apply to us as. We didn't have the same problems that he's having right now. Like back when we just read Galatians, they had a certain problem where they had the Pharisees come in and try and enforce their Judaism, enforce circumcision on them, when then none of that was even necessary. They tried to enforce these people on these things that were not biblical, and they Paul had to get them away from it, saying that these people weren't, they're, what they're teaching is not true. And a lot of people take that out of context and say, well, Paul says that the Torah is no longer true, we don't need it. And that's not all what he said. Rather, he said that the Torah was important, it's the most important, that you need Mashiach and you need the Torah, and that you should stay away from the doctrine of men. But many people take that, and because it's a letter to someone else, they'll take that and think that it belongs to them. Right, absolutely. Well put. Okay, so let's begin. Everyone ready? Yep, yep. You like to pay attention this time? <clears throat> what was last time? Yeah, you weren't last time. That's why you took a bus ride last time. All right, so let's do this. Okay. Paul, an apostle of Yahusha HaMashiach by the will of Elohim, according to the promise of life, which is in Mashiach Yahusha. To Timothus, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from Elohim the Father and Mashiach Yahusha HaMashiach Yahusha are out of night. So it's just a, basically a greeting here. Nothing here much about it. It's just a greeting. Yeah, it's just a greeting. How are you doing? This is his uh, homeboy, Timothy. Okay. I thank Elohim, whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of you in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see you, being mindful of your tears, that I might, may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, for, and, and I am persuaded that in you also. See, okay, we don't now, even know these people. Now, see, if we were to take Paul and do everything he said, we would be like, we have a grandmother, Lois? No, he's talking directly to Timothy here. Yeah, I don't know uh, Mother Lois, uh, any of that. Yeah, all right, we have dogs fighting like always, so we will uh, always try to be distracted and be uh, not messing things up. Okay, so yeah, they, this is not to us. By any means. Yeah. Wherefore, I put you in remembrance that you stir up the gift of Elohim, which is in you by the putting on of my hands. For Elohim has not given us the ruach of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That, that is true, right? But yeah. I mean, is I mean this... but, but it looks like Yahuwah has a few spirits. Like he makes he put a spirit of coward, makes someone a coward, or a spirit of like strength. He looks like he seems to have different spirits here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's lots of ruachs. Okay. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Adonai, nor of me, his prisoner, but be partaker of the afflictions of the Besorah according to the power of Elohim, okay. who has saved us, and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Mashiach Yahusha before the world began. But is now manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Yahusha HaMashiach, who has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light through the Besorah. Very clear so far, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Whereunto I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the other nations. For the which cause I also suffer these things... Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know who I am. I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to guard that which I have committed unto him against that day. I memorized that as a kid over and over and over in Awanas. Okay, 13. Hold fast the form of sound words, which you have heard of me in faith and love, which is in Mashiach Yahusha. Now, Eli, what are sound words? What, what could we call sound words? The Torah. The Torah. That's the only thing we know that is a sound word. Uh, that's, that's the soundest word. Okay. That good thing which was committed unto you, guard by the Ruach HaKadosh, which dwells in us. This you know, that all they which are in Asia be turned away from me, of whom are Philgelius and Hermongenes. Her I think he uh, sent that one to, uh, didn't he send that one to Satan last time? I feel like he did. I feel like he turned them away. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. 16. Yahuwah give mercy unto the house of... Uh, Oh, no. Mine says the Adon. It's, what? It's the Adon yeah. growing compassion. 
Yeah, this is again, this is uh, Steven? Steven Pigeon's bad translation, so I got two I got to do videos on. Um, where'd we go here? It's there it is. Um, I don't know how to say this word. One Cypherus. Okay, Yahua, it's a, it should be Yah, Yahusha. Give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, for he oft refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me. Yah grant unto him that he may find mercy of Yahuwah in that day, and in how many things he ministered unto me in Ephesus, you know very well. The add-on grant him to find compassionate and from the add-on in that day, and you know very well how many many ways he attended to me at Ephesus. Yeah, so that'll be another one for the bad So there was nothing really there to get out of the uh, book besides he's just writing a letter to a guy saying how it's going. Yeah, shout out to my grandma, right? Lois. Lois. Okay, uh, 2 Timothy 2. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that in Mashiach that is in Mashiach Yahusha, and the things that ye you have heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit, commit you to faithful men, same commit. I don't know why that word is hard. C o m m i t. The same commit you to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Therefore, endure hardness as a soldier of Yahusha Hamashiach. No man that wars entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Okay, what does that say? So basically he's just saying that don't don't uh, be scared. Be a good soldier. Be, be ready to work for Yah. That's what we're supposed to be. We're going to be soldiers in the kingdom. We are going to be warriors for Yah. We're not just going to be sitting around doing nothing. We're going to be warriors for him. We're going to be doing his will. And we should be preparing on this life to be his warriors. We should be proving ourselves as soldiers right here and now. Yeah, and the NIV has a, no one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer, right? And so we shouldn't be dealing with worldly stuff. We need to be dealing only with what uh, Yah has, has told us to do. Five, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. Okay, anyone have a different version of that? That's NIV. five. That's five. NIV. And if anyone competes in a game, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be in the game of Yah unless you're keeping his Torah. You won't be there. The husbandman that labors must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say in Yahuwah. Give you add understanding on. all things. He did mess it up again? Yeah, it's add on. Okay, yeah. So, wow, this guy, he really slaughtered this version. Okay, I'm just marking these guys because i got to do other videos because we're trying to help this guy cr fix his version of translations and... Uh, he sells a version of this, and he, he sells it uh, kind of evilly. Okay, eight. Remember that Yahushua HaMashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my besora, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of Elohim is not bound. Okay, what does that say? He's saying that he has suffered some hardships, He's going to, but, but not as a criminal. But not as a person. Uh, but but he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not um, being punished for like uh, things. Being they go through tribulations and trials for keeping the good, the uh, Torah and the good news. Yeah, but the word of Yahuwah is not a chain. It's not. It's not what's binding him. It's not a burden to him. He's chained because of the affliction he gets for doing the word. Right. Right. Yep. Okay. Ten. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Mashiach Yahusha with the eternal glory. It is a faithful saying. For if we be dead in hi with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we believe not, yet he abides faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before Yahuwah, that they strive not about the words to no profit, but in the subverting of the hearers. When is he before the Adon? Wow, he is completely... Cracked this. So far, uh, everything NIV is says honest. God in 14. Does it? Uh huh. So maybe Stephen hasn't destroyed that. This is the add on, but the add on, he always can call it the add on Yahusha. Mm hmm. They strive not about the words that have no profit to the subverting of the hearers. Okay. Study to show yourself approved unto Elohim, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We go over this all the time. I say, I quote this over and over and over and over. You guys have heard it to a nauseam. What is the word of truth? The, the Torah. Torah is the Torah. It is right. the commands. Is so, what he told us to do. So, are we dividing the Torah? Is this what he's saying? Rightly dividing, or is it people that are dividing the New Testament from the Old Testament? No, he's saying rightly divide, as in you need to rightly understand it. Rightly, you need to break it down. You need to be able to dissect it, understand everything that's in it, not divide it, cut it up, and throw it away. Yeah. 
But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more wickedness. And their word will eat as does a canker of whom is Hymenius and Philetius. Yeah, that's the guy he turned over to Satan. Last time. He so still has, this, he's holding a grudge. This book is honestly very self-explanatory. There's not a lot of explaining. It's very straightforward. His writings over over the years of him writing has gotten a lot easier to understand. I think he figured out that he was writing very hard words to people. Dude, with this 14 years later, he still has a grudge against these guys. This is like he's going to bed angry. <laughs> this other guy, like, he doesn't like this he's guy. He's like, this dude did some evil stuff to me. Yeah, turn him over to Satan. Okay, 18. I don't know, but it's just, it's it's easier to read. It's honestly easier to understand. It's getting better. I think you realize over time that people were having a hard time understanding what he was writing. We shall see. We have more books to do. Who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some? And that would be the Sadducees that said that, right? There were, mm -hmm. there, um, that there is no resurrection. Nevertheless, the foundation of Elohim stands sure, having to seal Yahuwah knows them that are his, and let everyone that names the name of Mashiach depart from iniquity. Okay? What is iniquity, Eli? Uh, Torahlessness. It's Torahlessness. If you live as you put the laws of our Creator on the cross, you are by default living in iniquity. So it says in, in Mashiach, Messiah Yahusha, had no other um, doctrine than that of his dad. So... We, his iniquity, defining iniquity of Messiah Yahushua is the same as his dad. 20. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for Adonai's use and prepared unto every good work. Okay, what do we have? That's that on. So yeah. Okay, so what, what, what does it say, Jay? Basically, it says, make yourself clean, make yourself ready to be a worker for be a servant to Yahushua, be Almost like the priest. Yeah, and it also is he's talking about like he says in a great house. There's you'll, you're going to find a, a, a I mean, big house. You're going to find gold and silver. You're also going to find uh, wood and of earth, and and some to honor and some to dishonor. Right? Some like if you're I don't know what he's actually saying to that. I think he's talking about like a future temple that comes down. Uh, maybe. Um, I think could be, or it could be like maybe like work work for the household that's already there. Work for Yah's house. Yeah, but it's it's you know he talk he's talking about a great house and in a great house you're not in a in a small house in a in a poor person's house you're not gonna find gold and silver, um, you're gonna find like wood and, and stones or something, um, but he goes on if a man therefore purge himself from these, when he's talking about these the th the the line before of gold and silver wood and earth, he shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified and meet for Adonai's use and prepared unto every good work. So it's saying. Uh Leave all you have and come follow me. When he told the rich person, sell all you have, go to the poor, so we add it unto you and then come follow me. Yeah, and if you're going to be a vessel, that's going to be, you're going to be a, a cup, could be a vessel. Anything that is, is used to hold stuff, to store stuff in. And, but you're supposed to purge yourself of the stuff of the house, of the gold and the silver. You and then if you're an empty vessel, then you'll be able to just have Yah's word in your vessel and understand this. You have to get rid of the burdens you have, which is gold and silver. A lot of people take that as that's all they, they that's all they need, that's all they want, that's what they dream about, and you have to be able to get rid of that to be able to serve with the Messiah. Yeah. Get rid of your worldly possessions. Yes, get world, rid of your worldly possessions. Okay, uh, twenty-two. Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, love, peace with them that call on El Yahuwah out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes. Okay, that's. That's great advice. Yeah. Uh, it's just a letter. There's honestly not too much to take he, in. He's not doing things like he used to do when he says a widow, uh, make sure make sure women do not speak um, and a widow must be 60 years old, right? It just he, seems so much different. It seems night and day from what we've seen before. So that it begs the question, are they all the same writer or not? I mean, I would have I would have to say at the beginning it's not. I mean, he still hates phil philatos in this one, so maybe. Yeah, maybe. That's true. That is true. So whoever's writing it still hates the guy. Okay. <laughs> Some dude had a quarrel of Philatos. A beef. Okay. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes. And the servant of Yahuwah must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient. That says it done. What'd you say? In the, the does it say Yahuwah? And Lord's servant. Yeah, again. And so they, they, these, this, this is terrible. Okay. Um... In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if Elohim perchance will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. So it's like we say, teach in love, teach in kindness, even if they are 
people that you don't like, you need to teach them kindness so that Yahoo will give them repentance because if you push them away, they're only going to go farther in the darkness. Yeah, and, and that's, that's something we do here, but I don't know if I do it real well because we have people that come against, I guess when I say we, I, it's me, people that come against and, and will just rage. And um, you teach them in kindness, but they'll rage and they rage and they rage. Finally, you just have to block them or be done with them because they do not care what the truth is. All right, three. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady minded, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Elohim, having a form of holiness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. All right. So this could be a chapter for this world right now. I would love to touch on some of this here, but I don't want you guys to go under a bus. So we'll just, um, we'll just leave out the disobedient to parents part for now. Okay. Great. Oh, that's that bus I was looking for. Here we go. Um, Having a form of holiness, but denying the power thereof for, for from such turn away. So we're told to turn away from all of this wickedness, right? Boasters, proud, blasphemers, unthankful, unholy. If you're unholy, what does that mean? You don't you're, keep the Torah. Yeah, you don't keep the Torah. You're, you're, you're anti-Torah. Gentile. Yeah, anti-Torah. Um, disobedient to parents. That's in here. Uh-uh. All right, here we go. Um, and they're not really disobedient. We have our days. They're, they're good boys. Um, six. For of the sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Truth is capitalized. The truth is the word of Yah. There is no such thing as any other truth except the word of Yah. And so basically he's, he's having all of these things that all these people, the traitors, the heating minded, the truce breakers, all these people, um, they creep into houses and lead the silly women laden with sins, captivate captive silly women. Does your guys say silly women? Gull- gullible women. Gullible women. So this is Paul again, and he, he does have some stuff against women here. Um, I don't know about silly women, but I would say there's a many gullible men as there are gullible women. I don't think it just falls to a female side, but I don't know. I don't know what Paul was up against, right? We're just we're eavesdropping on his letters. Okay. Now as Lannis and Lambres withstood Moshe... Uh, who are, who's this? Who this? Mine says Yokane and Mamre. Jamres, who's this? Where's the name footnotes? I don't know who that is. Um, here, uh, there's a footnote here. Iannis, a son of Bilam who withstood Moshe. Okay, that's, uh, Yad, oh, it's in Jashar. Yashar. 79, so they're quoting from Yashar right here. Jashar. Um, and Lambres, uh, a son of Bilam who withstood Moshe, so. That's like the third reference, I think, to Jashar we have in the Bible that I know of. At least, at least. Why is this Exodus? Next is 7-Eleven. We don't get their names. We only get a no bill. And this one just says, and that one, the Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Oh, that's them. Those are Billum's sons. Oh, Billum's? Oh, yeah. So Billum was like the main guy neighbor. The, his, guess like, the apple didn't fall too far from the tree, huh? Oh. All a bunch of sorcerers. Yeah, wizards. Okay, nine. Um, ju- but they shall proceed. Let's see if we can get this further here. I will do the top job here. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. And they, 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 they failed, right? They all died. But you have fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, which, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all, Yahuwah delivered me. Yea, and all that will live righteously in Mashiach Yahusha shall suffer persecution. Okay, how do you live righteously in Mashiach Yahusha? You you follow the Torah. You live according you believe in Yahusha HaMashiach, and you keep his commands, and his commands are the Torah. That does go against Christian doctrine, though. It right? does. Yeah. yeah, but Christianity is in the Bible. There's not the Christianity in the Bible. Uh, there's there's, there's one the kind of word, it, it's, but, but it's actually not the but right there's word. No religion, there's no Mashiach certain King, religion yeah. like like that in the Bible. There's they, nowhere. Messiah Yahusha never told us to go become Christians. Never ever. told us to come to churches. Never told us to drop the law. Never told us to worship on Sunday. Yeah, none of that. Okay, 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Yeah, they all do. They get evil and evil. But continue in the things which you have learned and have been assured of, knowing of whom you have learned them. And that from a child you have made, have known the Holy Scriptures, 
which are able to make you wise unto Yeshua through faith, which is in Yahushua HaMashiach. See, the, the Christians bypass this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And it says, from a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures. The Christians don't know the Holy Scriptures. They never read the Bible. They never read it. They don't know it. They, they, hear, they hear two or three verses every week, and that's about it. Yeah, it's hearsay. Because and up to it's, this point, I still don't think they had the New Testament. No, they, they didn't have anything. They wouldn't have had this. What, the only Scriptures that Brother Shaul is talking about is the Torah, right? And it says right there that you're able to make you wise unto salvation through faith. Okay. All scripture is given by the Ruhak Elohim and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of Elohim may be perfect through furnished unto all good works. Now, this is what the Christians will quote me when I tell them that Paul has things of the, the widows need to be 60 years old. Well, the, all scripture is given by Ruhak Elohim. Okay, if that is true and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, where is our litmus test? Where is, how do we know what scripture he's talking about? Because there's there's lots of other scriptures. Right. What about all the scriptures they removed from the scriptures? Right, but there's one thing they learned a lot. It was the Torah. That's the one thing that everybody should have been taught. They, they might not have been taught the prophets or prophecies, but they would have all been raised up in the Torah. Yeah, I, again, I want to remind everybody, at this time, there was no other scripture. We're talking the Torah. He's like, all scripture is given by the Ruhak Elohim. That means Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, Samuel, 1 Kings, 1 Samuel Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastic, Song, Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, and that Old Testament. That is all scriptures. That came off my memory, folks, just so you guys know. I memorized them, and I, I know them all in the New Testament as well. My mother made sure of it. So, the scripture he is talking to is not talking about himself. It could be if the scripture aligned with the Torah, but... If it doesn't, then where is where is our line? Uh, we would have nothing. We would be all... Where's the line? If something goes against the Torah, what do we do? Throw it away. Toss it out, right? It's like the, the bad kind. We toss that out. Okay. Um, so, 17. That the man of Elohim may be perfect, through thoroughly furnished unto all good works. It says all good works. Good works would be keeping the Torah, right? That's the only way that we right. would know what good works are. The Christians do not see this and they will not, they don't care about good works like this because they don't have to do works. Their law is gone. It's for them. Okay. So far, so good. I charge you therefore before Elohim and Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Who says quick? Quick and the well, dead. Says living and the dead. The quick and the dead. I, I think that's makes makes quick ones fast or something. Living ones faster uh, than the dead. Well, I guess. the living's gonna be faster than the dead for sure. Uh, okay. I don't okay. know. Obviously, but okay. why would he? I don't understand why we have quick and dead. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. Translation here. Yeah, but anyway, he will judge the living and the dead. Preach the word. Be ready in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with long suffering and doctrine. We are doing the same thing that Shaw told us to do, right? Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's what we're using is we are using the Torah's doctrine to unfortunately have to rebuke a few things that Paul says. In the first Timothy, he goes off, off the deep end. Second Timothy so far, it's not so bad. Okay. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Again, the truth Christians. is capitalized. Yeah, Christians. And shall be turned into unto fables. Okay? So it, Sounds like that. It, it, they turn their ears away from the truth. And they turn the, to fables, fake things that don't exist. The Christians and religion in general does not want the truth. They want their version of the truth. They want what is right in their own eyes. And according to Yah, that is incorrect. But watch in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of your ministry. I've never heard that word evangelist before. Mine's, Mine's evangelist. evangelist as well. Mm -hmm. You says evangelist? I wonder where that word came from. So we haven't heard that in the Torah. We have no evangelist. It's probably, it's probably more Greek. Evangelist is not the same evangelist you see on TV. That is not an evangelist. Not the guy taking your money? That's not an evangelist. Yeah. Take, you take your money every week. It's not They have evangelist. nice cars and real nice suits. They nice look, planes. They too. look real. Yeah, they're nice planes. Several of them. They actually do have several planes. That one guy, remember that one demon guy? Uh, uh, Kenneth, Kenneth Copeland. Kenneth Copeland, yeah. And all his planes and stuff. I mean, that guy looks like a demon. Okay, verse six. For I am now ready to be offered at the time and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have guarded the faith. How do you guard the faith? By keeping the Torah. You keep the Torah. He's not guarding the faith. He didn't say he got rid of the Torah. He guarded it. You put your hands up and your chin down. That's how you guard the faith. 
Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which Yahuwah, is that, is there, do you have the right translation there? Yeah. Okay. Which Yahuwah, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Mine says the add on righteous judge. It doesn't say Yahuwah. Yeah, you know, and that's Messiah Yahusha will be our judge. Yeah, He's the so one. I think. I think Stephen got this one. I have to hide, hide that one too. It does. I don't, I don't know if I have enough time for all the videos for the, the corrections in the Sefer. Okay. Don't one, one. spend your money on it, folks. You can actually go to yahooandthetorah.net and we will have it up there very soon. The version that is actually better than this. I don't use it because all of my highlights are in it and I would have to get rid of all my highlights. So I'm lazy. Okay. Do your diligence to come shortly unto me. For Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world and is departed unto Tassanolaike, Cretans to Galatia, Crescens to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. Okay, are all these people, um, they all left him? They all went. They went on their way, I think. I don't think he means like they like deserted him. I think they just mean... He said he's Demas has forsaken him. I think forsaken, but I he think... He loved the world. I think the others have just left. They went... Well, he puts it all in one sentence. Did I think Damus... Who's Crescens? Whoever Damus is, uh, he loved the world, so he left him. But what about Titus? Titus, Titus. I mean, he puts them all in that same sentence. It says... Titus, did everybody I don't split? See in 10 or 9? 10. 9. 9, and then it moves on 10. Do your best to come to me soon. And then he says, For Damus, having loved the wo present world, and deserted me, and went to Thessalonica, Crisis, Galatia, Titus, and... He, those Titus must have split. I mean, I, Titus did them. I mean, it sounds like I they think, split ways. I think Titus went somewhere. Because if that was not the truth, then he would say, For Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world, and has departed into Tassalike, and Then, And then he would go, and, uh, you know, whoever, Cretans went to Galatia and Titus unto that. But, I mean, he put this all into one sentence. It's a semicolon. It's all one sentence. Does your yeah. guys just say the same thing? Yeah, yeah it's, it's all, it's all one. just commas. Okay, maybe another thing I'm thinking is maybe Demas went to Titus, who was at Dalmatia. He says he loves the present world. If you love the present world, you're not with Yah. And Abby says he has deserted me. Yeah, and so it's I guess gone they all left. They just, I, I, Titus and Damos left him. But the NIV has a period under Thessalonica. It has a period. And then it says, Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus. It sounds like they all split. They all Paul. left him. I don't know if uh, they left for the world, but we know Damos did, but we don't know about the other two. Yeah, what about Titus? Okay. Yeah, we're eavesdropping. <laughs> yeah, we're eavesdropping. We don't know. Uh, Only Lucas is with me. Take Marcus and bring him with you, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. I think those are the two that wrote the other books. And Tychus, have I sent to Ephesus, the cloak that I left at Troas and Carpus, when you come, bring with you, and the Sephirim, but especially the parchments. <laughs> More eavesdropping. <laughs> he lost all his, yeah, we're eavesdropping. Like, so I think, I'm going to explain, the, because I read down lower, but I think okay. right now he's in fall or towards the end of summer he's where he's what? at. He's oh. in like writing this in fall or summer because he needs his coat. He needs his about coat. To get cold. It's about to get cold. He, he says it's about to get. He says he wants his buddy and, to come and, the pa him. and he has packages there. Whatever the packages. He got some stuff. Letters. It's, I mean, it's, letters. it's obviously going to take him a while. So I think it's towards the end of summer, the beginning of fall, when this happens when he writes this because wherever they're at, it takes a while to get to where he's at. Yeah. All right. Alexander the coppersmith did much evil. Did me much evil. <laughs> Yahoo reward him according to his work. Yeah. Don. Don. Oh yeah. A don't. And if he said, Alexander the metal worker did me a great deal of harm. Yeah, I better highlight this because I should spend the time and help these guys at the Sefer. And probably in 17 as well, I'm guessing. It. I will do this for free. You don't need to pay me. Just fix your work. Okay, 15. Uh, of whom beware also, for he has greatly withstood our words. All right, if you guys ever run across Alexander the coppersmith, he's bad. Um, that's not the good dude. He's probably dead by now. He's definitely dead by now. <laughs> okay. And my first answer, at my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray to Elohim that it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, Yahuwah stood with me and strengthened me. He did it again? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that by me the preaching might be fully known and that all the other nations might hear and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Oh, man. In the old version of Sefer, though, it has Yahoo as well. Does it? Yeah. That is incorrect. Okay, at least they didn't do this out of darkness. The other ones they did out of darkness, I believe, but who am I to judge? And Yah shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. And the add-on shall rescue me from every wicked word. Shout out, salute, Priscilla and Aquila and the household of one Osiris. What is this guy's name? It sounds like one Cyrus. One Cyphernus. One Cyphernus. One Cyphernus. One Cyphernus. What shall I call you? I'll call you one Cyphernus. That's Greek. That's you Greek. All right. Aristus abode at Corneth, 
but Trophimus have I left at Miletum sick. He's sick. Do your diligence to come before winter. Eubulus greet you, and Pudens and Linus and Claudia and all brethren. Yeah, he tells him to try and come before winter, so it's obviously about to get I'm cold. And he, needs a, he needs his coat. I see linens and I think of Linux. I'm like, oh, there's there's Linux. Nope, that's Linus. Linus. <laughs> Linus. Okay, the Yahua Yahusha Hamashiach. No, he says the Adon oh, Yahusha Hamashiach. Wow. wow, what is that? He's totally see that, that, That's what I'm saying when it says Adon, it should say that should be for Yahushua. Yeah. That's, Dr. Stephen Pigeon yeah, blew the doors. Right in the old version. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he did. Okay. All right, well, that's it, gentlemen. That is the fourth chapter. There's no more, right, on this that's one? That's it. Okay. Well, this is, this is good if we're that eavesdropping. Book was good. It was just a letter. There was really nothing to take in too much from this book. It was just a letter saying how, how he's doing and what he needs. He's Bring like, my coat. I need my coat. It's about to be winter. Need my Shout, Priscilla. Need, need my letters. And I sent some dudes your way, too, to hang out with you. Yeah, I mean, if you ever see Alexander the Coppersmith, it's... Uh, watch run, out for that guy. For and bring Mark with you. Yeah. And Mark and Luke, I think those are the two. I wonder where Titus disciples. went. Titus is gone. Ty Titus probably went with Damos. Or maybe he was saying because you know he sent he sent them all different places. So that dude left the world, and then the other guy went to his place, and Titus went to D Dalmatia. Maybe. So it maybe we just don't know. We don't know what happened. Well, we yeah, we're, we're we're guessing. We don't have the first part of the letters. Who, who wrote who? Who who actually wrote the letter he, to Tim, him the first Tim, time? He's like, How, how's Titus? How's my friend here? How's my friend this? He's like, well, this guy left me. This guy's here. I'm sending these dudes to you. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, he's just filling everybody in. And what's, he, what's at the beginning of his letters, he always has like uh, all this like teaching things, help people. And at the end, he tells them how his like how his like life is going. <laughs> He always sends somebody to Satan here. <laughs> that one he, guy. Again, that one guy really messed with Paul. I feel like for, 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 yeah, for whatever it is. It's that been Paul, a while. It's yeah, been fourteen pa years later. He's Paul still holds that. grudges. Yeah, he needs to. He needs to go off of the Messiah Yahusha's uh, um, example and, and not go so to bed. Judaism. Yeah, a little Judaism. Man. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you guys very very much. Much love to our family out there. We are done. Shalom. And.